South Korea launches lunar orbiter as domestic space program heats up. South Korea has launched a lunar orbiter ahead of the country's plans to land a probe on the moon by 2030. The orbiter, named Enuri Dash Enjoy the Moon in Korean, was launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida atop a SpaceX rocket. Mastery planting program launched as part of efforts to tackle climate change. The government has launched a program to plant 2,300 hectares of trees across England as part of plans to diversify woodlands and make them more resilient to climate change. Energy price cap to be updated quarterly to tackle market volatility. The energy price cap will be updated quarterly, rather than every six months, off Jim has said, as consumers face extremely high energy prices next winter. UK squandering potential as science and tech superpower. The UK's potential as a science and tech superpower is being squandered due to the lack of an implementation plan from the government, peers in the House of Lords have said. The Science and Technology Committee said the next administration must maintain the commitment to R&D funding with a focus on science and technology in order to drive a high-tech, high-growth economy. <music> government Defense and aerospace facing barriers to digital advantage, says BAE. 97% of UK government, defense and aerospace organizations are facing double challenge barriers to achieving digital advantage, according to a new survey from BAE Systems Digital Intelligence. <music> Quantum dots offer efficient, color accurate alternative to LEDs. Quantum dots have been used to create light sources that boast better efficiency and color saturation than standard LEDs as well as being able to dynamically reproduce daylight conditions in a single light. <music> Toyota unit reveals it faked emissions data for 20 years. Japanese truck maker Hino systematically falsified emissions data dating as far back as 2003 according to the results of a company-commissioned investigation. <music> Home test for COVID-19 boasts PCR accuracy using saliva sample, a COVID-19 test that can be used at home and is as accurate as a polymerase chain reaction, PCR, test has been developed by researchers at Pennsylvania State University. At-home tests have become an easy way to self-diagnose COVID-19, but tests such as the commonly used lateral flow have drawbacks, such as the length of time it takes to get an answer, or how accurately the test can identify a positive case. 